everybody, this is Garrett with Diary of a Family. We're intentionally living life with you. Welcome to another RV maintenance video. Today we are going to be going over repacking your bearings. We're also going to be talking about greasing some of the other fittings and things like that. So stick tuned. This is going to be a good video for you and your RV. You know that RVs travel a lot and axles and wheel health are essential for preventing damage to your rig. So let's get into this uh, episode. Hello, good Sunday morning everybody. We are finishing up some of the maintenance on my trailer. Jerry is already underneath my rig. So, we're gonna come see if we can help it all. Apparently, according to the other two brakes and bearings, I haven't been using up brakes on my trailer. So, there's like, brand new in here <laughs> it shouldn't be that way i should actually be using the brakes more often in the trailer so i'm going to be changing my settings on my truck so that we can utilize the brakes a lot more but let's see what it takes to repack bearings on a trailer this is really like a seven person job isn't it huh <laughs> so this is really like a seven person job seven person or one <laughs> It's a good, I like, I like, um, green, yeah. they don't use cheap stuff, they got the, on your camper, Yeah. I had to redo, they don't use cheap stuff, but they use China tires, so, yeah, I ain't that, ain't that, it's like, uh, Though the price on the tire is like $380 for the, the specific model. Per, was it, e-trailer.com? -tra e oh, don't go, don't go there. Well, I was just looking at what the price is. I'm not saying I'm buying tires from them. No, we're, we're not buying tires from them. But they were just looking at how much they cost. I was Ooh. like, ooh, wow. Hammer. I wish I would have picked up some caps. Was it just that one seal that was bad, or are they all? Yeah, but uh, like on caps, you'll be able to get a few uses out of Because you always end up bending in the cap a little. I just like replacing the entire cap. So on your, see how tight that is? Uh -huh. You're getting a little, a lot of drag off that. On that one? On. So far, all of them. So, you, whenever I do it, and the way I was taught that, whenever you set your your hub, yeah, it just you can get like there's no play in this hub, so it's tight. You want just barely any play that away. It's it's not tight tight. Okay. So that's what I've always done. I mean, it's not much. You can barely tell it, but you can feel it. Yeah. You won't tell it whenever you're driving down the road. I do have to admit, them tires look good. Yeah. It's like we got the only set of West Lakes that haven't had issues. It could be that they're G-rated, and the, those, those specific tires are actually not bad. But it's the lighter weight ones yeah, that are on smaller trailers that... Uh, blow it's the inside of our brake drum one of our bearings and the other bearing yeah so now that we have the bearings out we're gonna Jerry's going to make a mess make a mess and then repack, repack the bearings. Yeah, normally I would clean them out. I might 
I make this one because this one, see how dirty it is? Yeah. So most of them haven't been that bad. No, they, most of them have been really nice. I could get, get down in here and that's all clean grease right there. Yeah. Is that why they color grease that way? So you can tell no. when it starts getting dirty? This is grease that someone put in here. A okay. lot of your grease, the wheel bearing grease is green. Yeah, the grease I use on my hitch is that red, that pink, is almost like a hot pink. Is it? Yeah. So Jerry's going to put a cleaner on the uh, bearing on that one because it's a little on the dirty side. But all the other like bearings me. so far have been fairly clean. Hey, Jimmy. Are you having fun watching them clean? Yep. Or doing the bearings? That's the inside of our brake drum. So is that a engine part cleaner? Huh? Yeah, brake clean, brake. Brake cleaner, okay. So now we have a clean bearings. Not necessarily that clean. Well, clean in comparison to these hands that haven't touched grease. Put grease in, goes in right here. And there's a little hole right here where your grease comes out. So it comes out right there where that rear, your rear yeah. bearings right there. So that's where it comes out. Okay. So the, those bearings need to be spinning without any friction, right? So. Yeah, it, the, the grease keeps the friction down. And that's a bearing packer? Yep. I know someone's going to say, but that ain't the way we're supposed to do that. I know, but this is what I'm dealing with. What I got right now. Blue. What is that? That's grease. Grease. Yeah, it's similar to the kind of grease that I put on the trailer hitch. And you can never over grease something, right? Oh no, you can over grease. You, you can. Yeah, and whenever you over grease, what happens is you blow out your rear seal. So this oh. piece that I put right here, yeah. it'll get grease all over your brakes and everything. And that's not. So a you good. want to be generous, but not too much. Yeah. And what I do is, uh, I uh, this is the way I do it. And then whenever I uh, get everything back together, I shoot three squirts inside. Every once in a while, my trailer. Whenever we do a long one, about. Every time we go from here to Oregon or Idaho, I'll throw another three squirts in. Then again, I do this every year on my trailer. And that steel needs to be even, right? Yep. If there's a lip down in here, so it'll go all the way down there and then it'll stop. Okay. It'll just be slightly inside. Now I see like dust and, I mean, I see like more do you try and like clean that out as much as you can? Or what you, in here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can you can rub your finger around there. Yeah. Is what I do. All that is is brake dust. So whenever you, it's gonna come out as you're driving that. You know, it's not necessarily come out, but it's gonna be there as soon as you hit your brakes again. Then we pack the front bearing. Probably find that two years from now, and then I'll be like, "Why is that doing in there?" I always do this. What? It always seems like one side grease is easier than the other side. Ah, the grease is unevenly, or is but you see the. I'm getting out rid of all the dirty grease. Oh, got but it. yeah, see how I was pushing down on the other side, and it wasn't pushing the grease up. So I flip it over, and it pushes right up. So. That's the other thing of packing the bearings, is you're also getting the older grease out. And so it's clean grease inside the bearings. Yeah. Some people think you need to do it, some people don't. I just like doing it. I think cleaner the grease, the better off you are. Yeah. You know, someone says, hey, you're doing that all wrong. Well, I've done this since 2012. And on my old trailer, we had wrong axles on it. So it was, the axles were underweight. Yeah. And yeah, we went through wheel bearings quite a bit. So that's whenever I started really being real particular particular about doing my wheel bearings. But, you know, with this trailer, I still do it like that. Mm -hmm. And I've never needed it to. All right, see, that's tight. Uh-huh. 
that's not giving it any. So I backed that off just a tad. Hear that? Yeah. That's giving it. Look at the way. Now, it's a, if you hear that, that's the brakes on the inside. Uh -huh. But see how it's. And once that works in a little bit more. Yeah. Before it wouldn't do that. So I always. Always. It's less friction on everything, too. The tighter it is, more friction. You know that's going to kill you fuel mileage. Now, subscribers going to be like, they make a tool for this. I don't have that tool. So I pop it back on. With the hammer. Now, if you need to add more grease without taking the wheel off, you just take the cap off and just then pop that off, right? This cap just pops right off. There's a greaser right there. And whenever you go a long distance, I'm going to show you how it's done. Because I did. I forgot to put the three squirts in this, remember? Put grease in, goes in right here, and there's a little hole right here where your grease comes out. Yeah. So, just pop it in. One, two, three. And that's it. Okay. And then... And you, but you, you don't have to have the wheel off to do this. You can no, just no, uh, do the cat. Right here. On this cap? Yep, pops off and then you get yep, into because there. on that tire right there in the back, we got to replace this because that... That broke, yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't put that on YouTube. See the grease cert? Okay. Oh, that like, yeah. I always like to clean them off because then you ain't pushing no dirt in there. And then whenever I'm done, I also clean it too, so. So it just goes straight on there and you guys. Yeah. And I just put three squirts in here. It's getting a little in there. But more on the outside than anything. It don't take much to really take care of these. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're gonna feel a difference. It's just preventative. Yep, you won't notice nothing about this. That's done. Earlier on in the video, we mentioned that there was a hole in the dust cap that goes into where you grease your bearings. So we have gotten a replacement cap and we are going to go ahead and change this now. You can see the damaged that hole somehow in the middle. I just replaced it with that new one. We're all done. A special thank you to Jerry from Galleon Adventures for coming out and helping us with this maintenance. It was something that I probably couldn't have done myself. Jerry had all the tools that we needed to get this done. I would suggest that you go find someone that can help you with this project if you can or take it to a dealership and they'll do it for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always, live life intentionally. Bye. No, you don't get the GoPro. No, you don't. You don't need to, you want to. Why are you on the table? Get off the table. I'm, I'm walking on the table. Get off the table. You're not a table dancer.